atherosclerosis complex is a very complicated disorder that affects most organ systems or can affect most organ systems. Uh, the brain and the skin are the two most frequently affected, with the brain being affected about 90% of individuals with TS. Um, about 85% of people with tuberous sclerosis have epilepsy, 70% um, with onset the first year of life. And for about two-thirds of individuals with TS, their epilepsy becomes refractory. Uh, so the incidence of refractory epilepsy and TSC is much higher than the general epilepsy population. So in tuberous sclerosis complex, as well as many other epilepsies, there's a significant unmet need for effective treatments. Um, over the past 10-15 years, we've had many new therapies come out, um, but we all know that those treatments, unfortunately, haven't really decreased our incidence of refractory epilepsy. Uh, so there remains a significant unmet need for an effective and well-tolerated therapy. In the recently completed randomized controlled trial of Epidiolex or purified CBD in tuberous sclerosis complex, um, we were very excited that the study met its primary endpoint, which was the median reduction in seizures. So the study was three arms, placebo and then low dose and high dose, the low dose being 25 milligrams per kilogram per day, the high dose 50 milligrams per kilogram per day, and both doses were statistically significant, superior to placebo in reducing seizures. Um, also, the primary, uh, secondary endpoint was responder rate. How many people had a greater than 50% reduction in seizures? How many people had a greater than 75%? And again, both doses of CBD were superior to placebo. The other thing we found in the trial, uh, which was again reassuring, was the tolerability, safety and tolerability of the medication was very similar um, to the prior um, trials in Lenis Gusto and Dravet syndrome.